In this video, I want to show you how to build this L-shaped desk, as well as give you my review of it. The desk itself is pretty straightforward to build, and as you can see, it has plenty of room on it, but it also is sleek enough where it doesn't take up the entire room. Very efficient with its use of space in that it fits in the corner in an L shape. Um, you can see you can sit here comfortably at the keyboard, or you can work on this side or this side. It is versatile in its setup. I chose to set it up this way because it fit my room uh, in this manner, and this is the, the way the directions say to set it up. But you can also sort of arrange it in a straight line or reverse the parts, which is very nice. Um, you can see great space for a printer over there. Comes with two drawers. Uh, these are fabric uh, drawers with a hard uh, front on them. Okay, the frame is uh, sort of a synthetic, uh, I'm sorry, the surface is a synthetic wood, and the frame is, I believe, a black painted uh, steel. Uh, everything holds up pretty well. Um, I, I like they have the extra tension rods at the bottom to keep it sturdy. Um, so overall, a very nice desk. Um, again, it's sleek but still and, and compact in size, but still has a generous enough surface area to work. Um, you, know, you can see you have storage above. You can put some, maybe some decorations there, different things. And even if you want, I might put my dual monitors on this platform and actually work this way. So very flexible in its design, a lot of ways you can use it. Uh, here's how you assemble it. Before we get started, I want to show you the inventory of parts after we unboxed. Everything came out nice. Quality is good. Good sturdy parts. Let's get to work. The beauty of these parts is they are vividly and brightly labeled. So we're going to take part number seven, part number 21, and we're going to bind them together with these bolts. So step one is pretty straightforward. You take number seven, eight, and nine, and we're going to install these crossbars at the bottom. And number nine is slightly different. We install a crossbar at the bottom and then one at the top. And we use these A bolts and we tighten them up with an Allen key. Then what we'll do is we'll flip each of these over we want to install these caps in the end of each of these. They're extremely snug, so you want to get a rubber mallet and tap them in. And once those are tapped in, we'll want to put these feet on each of those six. So we'll take it and screw them in just like that. And they also will serve as levelers. After those three are done, we're going to repeat the exact same process on numbers 10 and 19. We're going to put the crossbars on. So we've successfully built and put together these five pieces, all using the same process. Next, we want to put together the bookshelf. So we want number 16, a number 18, another 18. And on this side, we'll attach another number 16. We're using the A bolts here. Now we have the frame of the bookshelf built. It's now time to install the three shelves onto it. And we're simply, we've placed this upside down. We're simply going to place this underneath and screw down from the top. So definitely easier to work on it upside down. Let me just show you what the first two shelves look like put on. Um, then we're gonna put the top one on We'll flip this over. All right. I'll grab this. And you can see the holes right here. Set it right on top. And then the C screws go right through here. Once we have the bookshelf sort of all together, I'm going to take these two number five pieces. We're going to install them here and here. We're going to screw down here, 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 and then two each from the bottom up. Next up, we're going to assemble this number 32, these two small rectangles, both 32, and number 15 bar. And we're going to attach them with these A bolts and tighten with the Allen key. We want the holes to be threaded 
facing upward in the number 15 still, it can have the shelf installed the same way we just installed the shelves on this unit down here. Next, we'll take this number 35 board. We're gonna lie that assembly on top of it, insert two screws, and we'll tighten it down once again with the Allen key on both sides. And now we're going to move these out of the way to make room for assembly of what looks like the main part of the desk. Then we're going to take numbers 10 and nine that we assembled earlier and join them together with number 23. Next, we're going to take the tall and the short, numbers 10, 7 and 19, and we're going to start building some side shelves by installing first number 39. So we attach the first shelf to the back, just like that. And then we'll attach the front of the shelf on the underside here. Okay, so the first two went on pretty easily. Now it is time for the bottom shelf. Okay, and there that is. Just to show you where all the screws I put in were. They're all here and there, except this one, which is a vertical screw. Next, we want to join numbers nine and 10 with piece number 23, and then we'll join this way. We'll tighten this up on both sides, once again, making sure that the hole is facing upward here so we can attach the shelf. Now we have two shelves labeled numbers 36, and one will go here, one will go down there. We're gonna feed the screws in from the side. And here is what that completed section looks like. Screws are going in this side and this side. Now we'll take the unit we just built. We're going to take the back of it on number nine and then take number 13 here and screw that in. After number 13 is installed, we're going to do the same thing in the front with number 17. On the opposite side, we'll take number eight. We will do the exact same thing and bolt them in from either side here. And it's starting to look like a desk. We've now built both units. We've connected these ends to this unit. Now we need to connect this way before we put the tabletop up. First up, we want piece number 11 with this little piece on the back. And that is going to go right here, fixed there into here. Then we'll take piece number 12. We'll thread this bolt through here, fix it here and here to complete the L shaped frame. All right, guys, so here we go, very simple. Connected the A bolt here. This is an A bolt with a B nut, A bolt, A bolt, and the whole thing is fastened together. Now we're going to place this tabletop, noting the hole is back here for the electrical outlet over here. And then we'll place this one, I believe, just like that, and we'll fasten it up. Now you want to get underneath here. We're going to line up the holes and there are four screws on this. Just line them up with the holes in the board. They have little plastic inserts. Very easy to find. Now we want to install these tension rods there and there. And then we're going to extend them both up here like this and thread this one bolt through. Here's what that looks like. And we do the same thing with the tension rods on this side. And we'll have our outlets just like that. All right, we installed the electrical. Then we just want to put the handles on these drawers. Tighten those up. Okay. And we'll slide that in right over there on them. 